Hey guys, welcome back to You Go For The Memories, where we last left off, I showed you off an optional, like, little um, set of duels you can do. Right now, you may, you may think it's a waste of time, but, um, it'll help just a little bit for you. I mean, it's a little secret thing, so I thought, it's kind of odd, like, yeah, first time around, you'll probably miss, like, what I just, like, showed you. I actually discovered it myself, because, you see, after you beat, like, one of the mages, see, I didn't mention this, when you go down to the dueling grounds, um, the Jono and like them will actually set, be, congratulate you for beating a first of your mages and stuff. And I thought it was an interesting piece of dialogue. So after I beat a second one, I went back wondering what they do, and I got there. But my first time around, I still couldn't beat Seto second, so I just did all the mages, and I thought I could do it later on. But then it's like the option just went away, and I was just so confused. It was crazy. And you know, later on, finally, I did manage to do it later on through my playthroughs. And yeah, it's an interesting little secret. <laughs> This is supposed to be an RPG, so I mean, it's nice to have at least like a little thing, something like that, though. But still, I kind of wish there were more. Okay, so, since we collected the Millennium Key from the Forest Shrine, the Millennium Scales from the Desert Shrine, we're going to collect the Millennium Ring. And it's here on the Mountain Shrine. Home, the best place for the Twin and Thunder Dragon to strut his stuff. So let's do it. I congratulate you, but you'll regret that you made it here to the Mountain Shrine. Ahead is the resting place for a sacred Millennium Idol. I am sworn to protect it with my life. Now again, I think in that map that the Forbidden Ruins had, I use Judge Man. 100 less than the guy with Fierce Knife. Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of this Mammoth Graveyard. I'll put him in. Yeah, so that map at the, you know, Millennium... He mentioned... Seto mentioned how, like, you know, these are now the places... So I assume, like, these are where the Millennium Items were. And now, like, you know, Haishin's using the exact same places just to hold the Millennium Items at. Smart idea there, don't you think? You know, sure, it's like... Why not? And I guess, kind of odd, like, did they want, like, the mages... The, like, or is it just so happened that each of the mages specialized in those, like, environments as it was? <laughs> Maybe they built their deck around to, like, in a way to worship said, like, place where the item was. Anyway, the mountain field here. Dragons, wing beasts, and electric types gain a 500 attack and defense point boost, and that includes a twin and a thunder dragon. It's regarded as electricity, and since mountain also increases thunder monsters, it gets a power bonus here as well. Not because of a dragon, but because of this electric typing. Hmm. Right now he's got Parrot Dragon, but I've got a Gaia the Fierce Knight, and I've got it on Jupiter. So, if I play it on Jupiter... Again, Guardian Stars. Thank you. Aw, oh, you know, I forgot to show off a battle on the Wasteland Field. I am so sorry about that. Uh, yeah, I should really have done that. I'm sorry. Oh, but see, Mars, he Guardian starred me back. He can summon Twin and Thunder Dragon if you let him. He can fuse for it. I don't think he has the standalone monster, though. So, that's good. So again, if I... Well, actually, I can make it no matter what, so there's, it's fine here. So, uh, let's do this combo. Yep, there it is. Thanks to the Equip Card 3800, man. I'll show off. Oh, I should have done Moon. Ah! I'm derping here. Blech. And here's a mountain. Actually, I'm just going to show you the environments. I don't have to show you the actual battle. I'll show off the models, though, of that Yama dragon or whatever. Hmm. Well, to be fair, its heads, I think, are actually a lot better than Twin and Thunder Dragons. Sorry I couldn't show up the I don't know, I think I have that card in my deck. Maybe I'll put it in and then show you. There's Yumi. I could just use it now and Twin and Thunder Dragon would still gain the boost. In fact, maybe I should do that. Twin and Thunder Dragon keeps his boost and your monsters lose them. Winged Eagle, see, would have gotten a field power bonus, but since I changed the field, I'm good. Oh, there he is. See, they spend a turn just like sending it back so they get the advantage, but now he's left himself wide open to attack. 
and I've got another Twin of Thunder Dragon right here. In fact, I think I just won. Metal Mage and a High Metal Mage here, Mountain, can actually give you some good Thunder creatures. I think I, they can also give you the standalone Twin of Thunder Dragon, but so can High Shin. You know that High Shin guy you fight? Well, you know High Shin, you know. Remember what we had to lose to him at the palace? We can challenge him in free duel mode, and depending on a certain ranking, even on D-Pow, he can give you a strong monster. He's giving me Labyrinth Wall uh, when I got D-Pow on him. I think when I got like an S rank, whatever, or maybe it was a D-Pow too, he gave me a Twin Headed Thunder Dragon base alone. Twin and Thunder Dragon alone, standalone card. What? It cannot be. I don't believe it. Well, you're not dead yet, so we'll proceed. Again, another guy was with those high mages, but not in those, like, you know, artwork. Yeah, look at this guy. This giant contraption on his head. What is that? I actually thought he looked pretty cool with it, but then again, look at his stomach area, though. It's like that giant ring. Is he like a machine? I think he'd have a machine deck. <laughs> no? Looks pretty... I guess he looks kind of, like, cool, but then at the same time, this stuff looks ridiculous. Heavy. It's like metal, though? All this metal and stuff? Again, it's how should make you wear that. Whatever. I'm the protector of the mountains. Hi, Major Tenza. The Millennium item you seek is under my protection. If you wish to have it, you must face the wrath of my, of my mighty mountain deck. Prepare for battle. He does have a smug face to him, that smile. Screams of smug. Okay, this guy is also really tough too. And if you let him, he actually has equipped cards. A card known as a shadow spell. All monsters on your field lose a thousand attack points if you let him, like, you know, set up. Alright, so I've got a Yumi, so I'm going to use that strategy I told you about. But odds are he might, remember, this isn't a guarantee thing though. He might not change the field back. His most strongest standalone card is the Black Skull Dragon. On this field, 3,700 attack points. Very powerful. That might be Shadow Spell right there. So actually, I might have actually made a mistake there for doing that. Mm. So maybe I shouldn't have, but... So if I summon off a strong monster and don't finish him off quickly, he could spring that Shadow Spell and then my monster would be destroyed. Oh, it's an equip card. Dragon Treasure. Gaia the Dragon Champion. If you combine a Gaia the Fierce Knight with a Curse of Dragon, you get this card. It's regarded as a dragon type creature, so Dragon Treasure is totally legit on it. There it is. But I've got my Twin of Thunder Dragon. Remember, on this field, powered up. Let's show off Gaia the Dragon Champion, actually. No, of course, the, the novelty of this whole thing will probably wear off for you, like, in about, like, five minutes or whatever, because, you know, it takes so long, and, you know, you just want to get it o over and done with. And there he is! It looks pretty good, actually. I mean, granted, it's, like, the... It's the Curse of Dragons model, and then just a guy with your style without his horse. <laughs> There's the moon attack. And there he is, just slumped over. You know, how is that even a fusion? Gaia... You know, the knight just got off his horse and then just went on the Curse of Dragon. It's not really a fusion. Okay, he didn't draw his, um... Okay, so, see, I have all these cards ready for my, you know, Flame Cerberus. Thanks to this field, they're powered down, so all these cards, fire and beast stuff, are useless to me. See, only 1,600. Not very good. But it will make a good decoy. You know, I'm sorry. I treasure all my cards. Ah, there's Harpy's Pet Dragon. 2,500 defense points. I'm mounting 3,000 defense points. See? Bait. Ah, 1,000 Dragon. There's a card in this game called Time Wizard. You know in the anime how, like, Time Wizard Baby Dragon. See, this is supposed to be a, a regular fusion card in the game. In the anime, they fused it differently. In this game, if you combine a Time Wizard with any dragon under 2,400, it'll make this card. 
Anyway, here we got another Twin of Thunder Dragon. So we're uh, doing good here. Doing real good. All right. Well, even if he summons a, a Black Skull Dragon thanks to this field, I've got the advantage by a mere 100 attack points. So thank you, Yumi. Thank you, programmers, and for, give, for making him electric typed rather than dragon typed. Actually, it's kind of funny. The card Dragon Capture Jar, you know, the card that Pegasus has that destroys all dragons, it only destroys the ones with dragon typing on them, not the actual card, even if there's dragon in its name. So really, this card is actually immune to Dragon Capture Jar. It's crazy. All right, here's something cool. You know, even though this causes fire, see, Crimson Sunbird is regarded as a winged beast. So we'll get a field power bonus on the mountain field, but it isn't counted as a fire creature in this case, so it won't get a power down. Ooh, Harpy Lady Sisters. Yeah, that's an interesting little card there. <laughs> First Harpy Dragon, then you summon your Harpy Lady Sisters. Crazy. Anyway, we beat a Tenza. Three mages down. Crass Clown. Eh, not really that good. Three, three high mages down already and only two to go. <laughs> See, his face has actually changed into a frown. Who could this be? Me, defeated, and I are gonna die. Wait, what? Oh! <laughs> or no, it's more like the shadows taking what? No, no, no! Yeah, we've gone all dark. There's the Millennium Ring. No evil spirit in it, though. So, you know, you don't have to worry about that. I guess we're just carrying these in our pocket or whatever, too. Mm. You know, we got time. Let's go take on, um, let's see here, Millennium Necklace. Actually, the next thing is the Millennium Eye. So, uh, sorry, the Millennium <laughs> Ring, so next is the Millennium Eye. And this is actually, and funny thing is, the Meadow Shrine is actually the toughest shrine out there. So, you know what? When we come back, we're going to take on this shrine, and if there's enough time, we'll take on the last shrine, and, you know, we'll be close to the end of the game. So, see you then, guys. I'm out.